in the shot right now. So, as you may know, I am awkward at a lot of things, including but not limited to ordering food in restaurants, talking in groups, handshakes, asking for directions, and dancing. So at least today we're gonna tackle one of those things. My friend Haley is coming over in a minute. She has danced for like seven years. She's very good. So I'm really excited to see what she can teach me, see if she can fix like the awkward pile of limbs that I am. Oh, hey, Ashley. Oh, hey, didn't see you didn't there. Didn't see you there. Our first dance move is... That's the only dance move I thought. Oh, you, you don't even need it. You like got it already. <laughs> Today I'm here with the lovely Haley Pham. One of the things that Haley is amazing at is da- Don't set the bar that high. I haven't danced in six months, but I did dance for a few years. She's like basically a professional dancer. T almost yeah. wanted to be, and then I was like, skirt. <laughs> Sorry, I hate that. I did do ballet and jazz when I was in like oh. third grade. When I was in dance class, I actually was convinced that at the end of dance class, they gave you a report card. So I just wanted to get an A on my dance report card. That might be the most Asian thing you've ever said on your channel. I definitely peaked in middle school at the eighth grade dance. Fist bumping to call me maybe. I'm good at that, that one. Maybe we can just do some of that. When I went to my first high school dance, I thought it was just gonna be some more good old fist bump in time, but instead it was just a giant cult circle of people grinding. I actually don't even like understand grinding. Like, what are you actually doing and why is it fun? Why do people partake in it? I don't get that either. Like, I would much rather make out with somebody than kind of like feel the lump of a hard penis on my butt. That's what it is? In public, that is going on. Yeah. <sighs> also, I think I like might have a punctured lung or something. Like, what? I was like nearly crying going to sleep because I couldn't breathe properly without it hurting. But I don't want to go to the hospital because it costs like 400 bucks. So dance. Okay. <laughs> mm. 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 So before we get to that advanced stuff that I just did, we're going to do a nice little warm up. Roll out that neck nice and spicy like this. Circles and you know this stuff. And touch your toes. That's, that's not bad. You're fine. <laughs> Side stretches. Usually in dance class, this would just be music. So this is just so awkward and I don't know what to do. This stretches your hip thing right here. And then I like to twist it out. Oh no. And I'm go into this. this. Oh no! <laughs> Should have warned you about that one, but uh. What the fuck? You're like more than 180 degrees flexible. Well, my crotch is that? the most flexible and that sounds very sexual, but it's not so <laughs> And then you do this like little spider thingy. Butterflies, ladies! <laughs> Are you feeling it in the butt? Oh, I see what you mean there. It's really deep in there. But it feels great. <laughs> so we're just gonna um, open our legs nice and wide here. And then try and point your toe. And then whip it up. I like to start in a lunge and then put my back leg down and then try to straighten your front leg out as much as possible. Just yeah. your butt in the shot right now. You're welcome, David. As a dancer, I feel like one of the most important things about finishing your lines are your feet. If you have your leg out, but then your foot is like that, it looks terrible. But if you have like a nice point, then it like finishes the line. Go like that. Oh, you have a really good arch. Go over your toe and then you'll feel like a, a nice stretch. Oh my gosh. You have good feet. How's your balance? The last time I worked on my balance was when I had a Wii Fit. I remember my dad got like one of the first Wii Fits. It was the one they were in really high demand. So he was like, we can keep this Wii Fit or we can sell it for like a $200 profit on eBay. And I was like, Whoa. I don't want the Wii Fit though. We used it for like two months to play like penguin games. And then that's it. None of us got fit. This is position one. And this is your position two. And then this is your passe. See, your feet, it makes such a difference. It already looks so good. One, position two, and quarter turn. Wow, you went further than quarter. Freaking overachiever. <laughs> the secret is my feet are sweaty. Okay, let's try half turn. And half turn. Oh my gosh, you're actually kind of good. My feet are so sweaty. Another thing I should probably tell you is there's something called spotting. Not like your period spotting. <laughs> this is with your head. So when you spot, you want to keep your eye on one point. When dancers look like fucking owls. Yeah. And you try to like stay at that point for as long as you can until you like have to turn your head and then you like turn it a full 360 and try to keep it there. Like you look like this, basically. <laughs> one, position two, 
and hope that you don't die. And turn. <laughs> that was actually so good. Your like, leg like, gets up there and your toe is good and it's, wow. What I remember doing in like basic jazz classes is something called bombas. And these are kicks, basically. So you would go across the floor with our arms like this and you would step and then kick, step, kick, and then you would do the side one and then the back one. Your hamstrings are not gonna like this, actually. <laughs> Dude, you're so flexible! But uh, we're just gonna go across the floor. We always hated these ones in like elementary school dance class. Yeah. Everybody's watching you and you're just like, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Step and kick. <laughs> exactly. Perfect. You just step. And then you literally like let your leg like try to get as high as possible. Oh no! <laughs> you know how to twerk? Just zoom in on this. Ryan, you're welcome. We learned how to do a turn, and now it's just us being like. <laughs> yeah, everything I taught you earlier doesn't matter for this dance whatsoever. Up. Uh Da, da, da. Did you see like in every skater boy video how Alex did a reverse whip? I like watched it like 50 times because it was so good. Da na, and then walk up formation. Da na na. Your elbows are back while you're like butt is arched, and then you just go down, down, down. <laughs> Drag yourself through the mud. Damn it. Around the world arms and your butt does the same motion as your hands. It's like whee! Pose. Perfect. Alright folks, we've been working hard for an hour to get a spicy 30 seconds worth of choreography <laughs> to a fire beat. And now we're ready to show you what we got. after dance classes and then I'd watch the dance videos back and get so sad because I was like wow <laughs> that's what I looked like for flexibleness I give you a C for feet though a B learning and picking up choreography an A I feel like this video is embarrassing but like I'm almost kind of jealous I wish it was going on my channel because oh. it's like actually kind of entertaining in a pathetic way that is my <laughs> whole brand girl <laughs> Thank you so much to Haley for being on my channel. And yeah, it's so weird to have like other humans in my videos. <laughs> Please don't make fun of how socially awkward I am or how bad at dancing I am. <laughs> I will see you guys next week. Bye! Bye! <laughs>